opportunity is all about keeping up with the times. In the 1950s, the international community imposed an embargo on mainland China. Hong Kong's re-export trade got bogged down instantly. However, Hong Kong turned this crisis into an opportunity by developing its manufacturing and export industry. Hong Kong Export Credit Insurance Corporation was then established. Seizing that opportunity, Hong Kong rapidly transformed into developing its manufacturing industry. Hong Kong's export trade emerged in the 1960s and gradually became a new driving force for local economic development. When the water restriction policy was introduced in the 1960s, the local plastic industry was also at its prime time. The representatives of industry and commerce that time recognized the importance of export trade to Hong Kong and lobbied the government to establish a statutory export credit insurance institution to protect the export industry. My after years of preparation, the Hong Kong Export Credit Insurance Corporation, ECIC, was officially established in 1966. With a statutory maximum liability of 300 million Hong Kong dollars, ECIC offered protection to Hong Kong's export trade development. In 1974, the Chinese name of ECIC was officially amended. Although ECIC was the only organization of its kind being backed up by the Hong Kong government, it was not easy to promote credit insurance. A series of subsequent incidents started to draw the industry's attention to the importance of credit insurance. The wig business was once prosperous, However, half of the wig factories were closed due to a slump in overseas demand. When the wig bubble burst, ECIC paid over 2 million Hong Kong dollars to settle claims, which was a large amount at that time. That was the first time for ECIC to deal with Hong Kong's unsaleables in the overseas markets, and it helped many companies go through their hard times. The statutory maximum liability of ECIC had been increased many times during its first decade. The maximum indemnity rate increased from 85% to 90%, helping Hong Kong's manufacturing and export trade embrace the heyday in the 1970s. In the 80s and 90s, Hong Kong had become one of the world's largest exporters of toys and garments. Daddy 
停電，咁我哋成家人就會醒曬，咁去睇下發生咩事。However, export trade always come with a lot of unpredictable risks. ACIC offers us is the credit、uh, risk assessment, and we are able to cover ourselves, so we are secured, and it helps us to sleep better at night. 香港好多中小企都係做出口生意，有信保局嘅保險風險評估同埋監控服務，為佢哋同銀行因商業或者政治事故而未能收回嘅款項風險作出保障，令銀行做貿易融資更加安心。There were political upheavals overseas, but mainland China's reform and opening up policies in the 1980s brought great changes to the export business in Hong Kong. 自從開放咗之後咧，發覺原來喺國內做係平咁多，成個行業都誒搬翻曬大陸啦，所以將個成個分工又改咗啦。香港就純粹做一個設計、營銷、finance、accounting 嘅地方，喺中國大陸咧就純粹生產線。ECIC has kept up with the times and has provided diversified services. Procedures were simplified. Policyholders could simply use one policy to cover goods for domestic export, re-export, and offshore trades. ECIC actively promoted quality management and became the first credit insurer in the world to receive the ISO 9002 certification in 1996. In 1998, ECIC's statutory maximum liability was increased to 10 billion Hong Kong dollars to support the industry to overcome the Asian financial crisis. 海外市場唔穩定嘅時候咧，其實 ECIC 能夠發揮嘅功效咧就更加大。因為喺依個情況之下咧，就好多中小企就更加咧唔係太過確定就能唔能夠收到錢。咁所以 ECIC 誒提供嘅出口保險咧。就可以話一定程度咧，就為響呢方面咧，就減少呢方面嘅風險。After the financial crisis, the new millennium arrived. Unfortunately, there came the outbreak of the 21st century plague. 其實 SARS 嗰陣時咧，當時真係。突然其來嘅嗱，外國嗰啲買家數量又買少咗啦，又擔心咧就會唔會香港出去嘅貨有菌咧 ？During the SARS period, ECIC enhanced the functionality of its online credit insurance platform, EC Link, to help exporters retain their competitive edge. 我哋明白到咧 ，SIPA 係可以為我哋香港工商界帶嚟好多機會嘅。所以我哋特別成立咗一個叫 SIPA 諮詢小組。The global financial tsunami in 2008 hit the export industry in Hong Kong once again。一般嘅中小企咧嘅財政實力往往都係有限嘅，而面對全球經濟唔明朗咧，同埋局勢比較動盪，最好就揾有實力嘅拍檔。如果有銀行同埋信保局嘅支持，一定對佢哋長遠發展有好大嘅幫助。During this difficult time, ECIC introduced a series of enhanced measures. Meanwhile, the statutory maximum liability backed by the government was increased from 15 billion Hong Kong dollars to 30 billion Hong Kong dollars. In 2012, the amount was raised to 40 billion Hong Kong dollars, so that ECIC could provide better protection to exporters and assist them in tackling credit risks, riding out the difficult times together. ECIC also worked on exploring emerging markets, helping exporters turn challenges into opportunities. In 2013, ECIC launched the Small Business Policy, helping SMEs expand into overseas markets. 貿發局好似係前鋒，而信保局咧就係後衞。咁我哋就係希望咧喺全世界揾唔同嘅商機，製造唔同嘅商機俾我哋嘅中小企。而當佢哋揾到合適嘅夥伴嗰陣時候咧，咁就係需要信保局咧，就係提供信用保險服務啦。咁為佢哋咧就減低誒呢個風險嘅。
Over the past 50 years, ECIC has stayed closely in touch with the market and optimized its services, standing together with the export industry. My family has been in Hong Kong for over 170 years. We have been working with ECIC since ECIC started 50 years ago. So I think without ECIC, it would be very difficult to manage our business and our business risk. Foo 所以我們香港有一個新的任務 加上和一帶一路沿途那麼多國家的合作都為業界帶來新的需求和商機香港作為亞洲輸流有需要繼續加強設計思維為工商業界的產品、服務以及品牌去增值去應對金融和貿易全球一體化所帶來的挑戰和